sorry, I'm not sure why that just popped into my head when I turned the camera on. I, it, it's, it's, it's a butchered version of uh, Buffalo. Anyway, uh, we'll see. Don't even go there. Uh, what is going on? It is June 15th. We're getting into birthday season. Hey, I want to give a special shout out to my, my uh, dear friend and uh, partner, Matt. It is, he's coming a couple days away from his birthday now. And, uh, you know, we've been not, we don't see each other nearly as much as we used to when he lived here, like in Los Gatos, and sometimes even in my house. Um, he's long away in Tasmania working on a really cool project. If you haven't uh, seen anything like on our Facebook page or any of that kind of stuff lately, check out Tasmania.com. If you're, especially if you're thinking about going there, which I am, believe it or not, and it might be October or November for me, but uh, we hope to have. But that's where that's where Matt is right now, and um, um, hopefully in good health and spirits. Well, they have really good spirits in Tasmania, I've heard, so I'm sure there are good spirits in him. But okay, um, what am I thinking about today? Wait, don't play that again. Play. You know what? I, I was thinking about. Oh man, there's a song that runs through my head all the time. Not no, I can't say all the time. It hit me like earlier today. Um, see if you recognize this one. Try it again. I'm not even sure I know the chords. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have let that enter the fray. Um, let's see, it's been an interesting week. We've we, uh, got a few kind of kind of cool things up. I, it's interesting, the comments on this. Um, you know, we don't put up, or I don't do many level 9 pieces. I just don't make them very often. Probably because I don't want to scare people off them. Well, hope you get to this part soon. I'll be next week. through the A section of that, so I hope people are at least tackling it a little bit. I know it's, it seems pretty scary, but uh, it could be a lot of fun. So that's, of course, Blues Land by Jerry Reed. Um, what else did we have cooking this week? Max, Max brought us something pretty cool. Let me think here. slide and, and butcher some things like that too. You know, there's a couple things about the slide that I could give you some hints about that I never think about. It's hard to get good tone out of it. I'm using a metal one now. You know, I'm going to switch over to the glass, glass one. 
Go with the bottleneck, the wine bottle. You don't want to play between the frets. You've got to make sure you're on the fret. So it takes a little bit of practice lining up your finger with that. Because, of course, when you play a note at the 12th fret, you play behind the fret. Well, if I put the slide there, it's flat. So you also work on a little bit of vibrato. Moving it back and forth helps make it seem like it's in tune better. So anyway, I hope some of you are enjoying taking a look at Max's... Uh, slide licks in, in open tunings. It's a little different doing it in, a, in standard tuning. You, another important technique though, I'm sure he talks about this and I didn't look at the whole thing yet. If you're playing something like this, I'm going from B to A, and now the next note I want to go to might be on the third string, like a G, like I might want to come up to this. I might want to hear this melody from um, what I was just kind of stabbing at, Wonderful Tonight. But I don't want to hear this. I have to stop the note on the second string. So you have to do a lot of muting, keeping your fingers. If you play with your fingers, if you do it with the pick, you do it slightly differently. But as I hit that, that G string right there, I put my second finger back on the B string to, to stop it from ringing. I would have gone to the first string for that. Oh no, I wouldn't. The tone's different. Not good enough. The tone of the second string is, is like the best album with the slide. Anyway, um, what else do we have? Oh yeah. Sandy working on this. And in her lesson, if you haven't taken a look at that fly on the wall yet, um, when she was playing in the beginning, she was doing this, uh, what happens there? We have this thing, right? She was having a little trouble getting these notes to sound legato. It's coming out a little bit. A little choppy so we uh, kind of address the techniques in that so i hope you take a look at that because um, there's some good good ideas in there about that one vanessa what did she do this week a patty Smythe song kind of a yeah a, a little one out there i wasn't too familiar with it you know sometimes love just ain't enough um so i hope, hope you're uh, getting a kick out of that one too the big two things i want to talk about though today are um igc europe I want to welcome Les Whitehouse to join us there, um, who is an Englishman living in Italy now, who uh, you know came up with what was judged to be the best response as to why he should get get the spot. Um, can't let you compare them all right now, but I do have some other responses I'm, I'm going to put up later about um, the uh, the other. So anyway, IGC Europe, we are hoping to get a few more rooms there now because we are sort of full, but uh, I'd like to get a few more people. We have five five. Uh, folks registered and um and i think we only have five rooms anyway we're working on working on getting a few more rooms so if you're thinking about thinking about going let us know because we're uh, we're trying to soak a, get a get a little bit more space we do still have have a little bit so hope to get a few more people and um that's coming up july 13th less than 30 days from now that would be like 28 days from now i think right be 30 days to july 15th yes so um Something like that. Wow, it's getting close. And um, the Santa Cruz string thing. So I want to tell you guys a little bit about our survey because, we, as you know, we're giving away 50 sets of Santa Cruz strings. Those, hopefully, I will get those out before I leave. They're they're in a box in my in the in the other part of the part of the uh, the compound here, and um, they are uh, still kind of judging the responses. We got like 500 of them. I mean, if people have responded to that, to, but the particular question, and some of them were really interesting, so I'll get some of these posted as we as, as it gets closer. Uh, or I mean, hopefully over the next couple of days. They, the question was on this survey that asked you all kinds of stuff, but the, the important question about it was if Totally Guitars was a famous music like artist, or maybe even a band, I guess, uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, 
who would it be, but and, and why? And so some of the, the suggestions were pretty, uh, the comparisons, I guess, is a better, better way to think of it, were, were pretty interesting. So, um, but we will be announcing who's getting the strings in a few days. Probably by early next week. Okay, let's see. What could I sign off with today? Oh, I do that one all the time. Let me think. Um, be hesitation blues and then wanted not to be and then wanted to go off and do something else that is it for the middle of june and i hope everybody's having having a good summer if you're up here in the in the north and uh hope it's not too cold to our friends down below or down south down under I haven't talked about our friends in australia for a long time but i hope all is well down there that's it for june 15th